Hey guys, Tyler here. Welcome back to Card Shark. I just had a near-death experience I'm supposed to go on as if nothing ever happened. If you have not seen this game before, it's a game where you learn real-life card tricks and use it to scam people out of money. It's a lot of fun. So I'm going to a ship, uh, Corsica, a pitiful place. No majesty to be had at all. Only mountains, hills, and goats. Nevertheless, it is where we're bound if we are to find Theodore. To cross to uh, Ajaccio, we will need a special kind of vessel. The discreet kind, if you catch my meaning. I know just the captain nefarious there. He happens to be a gambler too. You must have met a few sailors in POW. How are they? Friendly? I find that hard to believe, lad. You wouldn't say boo to a goose, let alone a boat full of ruffians. So you'll be glad to hear we'll be using a very subtle strategy this time. You'll start with a new technique called Shiner Glimpse. Simply use a reflective surface to peek at the underside of our opponent's cards as you deal. Then communicate your findings to me with their old pinch and drop signal. No need to dwell on a technique you're already familiar with. It's straightforward strategy, so let's see if you can pl complete it without my intervention. Go on, lad. You drag and then you... Huh? So that's the ten of spades. So you kind of do ace of spades. And that was not a suspicious deal at all. I can look at my own. I mean, you're not going to be doing better than an ace of spades, so I can deal you out normally. Just deal to myself. I should probably drag him all over there. He's got an ace of clubs, I believe. I think that's what it was. Just keep doing it the same as to not arouse suspicion. Yeah, I always just deal over this, even when I'm not cheating. Fuck, who had ace of spades? Who had ace of clubs? I think it was ace of spades. I gotta remember, three fingers is clubs, two is hearts, one is spades, none is diamonds. And then we drag up for the ace. Just had to recall that. It's been a bit since I've done that old trick, but it's all come together. That one's gonna be tough. You better be ready. Nerves and seasickness are good, not good at bedfellows. Surely we'll be fine. This is certainly a tough trick. Hardest one yet. What? How much? Are you out of your mind? 450 gold. To go to Corsica? As merchandise of doubtful origin, that's the price you have to pay to go. Oh, to be carried by me, monsieur. Uh, my friend and I value discretion at its just price. Maybe you should too, Captain. Or would you prefer me to call you by your real name? Uh, Raveno de L Lucen. <laughs> I wonder what the good folk of Marseille would say if they knew that a pirate parades around the port as a merchant. I see you gentlemen are sensible. Let's act like sensible men. Should we play cards for your crews? If you're really lucky tonight, you might even travel for free. Please have a seat at the captain's table. Well... Oh, okay, let's not raise the bet. That is insane for his small increase. Actually, on second thought, this literally saves me one full game. If I bring up to 30, that's kind of sketch. Let's play it safe here. I get two full games with four sus bars. That's pretty good. All right, so you I don't care about. You I do care about your cards. You got a shitty one. Don't remember it. Whoop. <laughs> oh, oh, a little sneaky one. That was a crappy one. So honestly, it's not as sus as I expected, but Ace of Spades. I don't need to remember a single other card now. Even if he ties, I'm sure it could do either suit. So Spades, we could get that out of the way. Spades is, um, one finger. Ace of Spades. Ace of Spades. <laughs> All right, so we went over one sus bar. Is that how you boarded English ships in the Caribbean? By offering the maces? Back in the day, I would have cut your tongue for these words. Don't tempt me. Knowing what I know now, I'll just take this. I guess I just played it on hard mode. That's funny. Oh God, the, the mirror is moving. No, it just kind of moved into place. That's a terrible card. Awful, really. Oh, it, it keeps moving. Very subtly moving. You gotta like have one fluid motion. You know, dealing them garbage, that's that's a way to win. Queen of Clubs is pretty good. It, it's up there, at least. We'll see if that stays his best card. Ooh, that's a, another Queen. So I can remember Queen of Clubs. That one's faster to do as well. Oh, boy. That one's that one's going to be pretty far. We uh, Okay. That was just a garbage card. And Queen of Clubs it is. Great Sheep's Head card. So we do... Oh, oh, I almost messed that up. Although, frankly, there were two Queens. So I had a little bit of leniency. Another round one, and let's bring it home. What bad luck you have tonight, Captain. I assure you it's only temporary. Will you deal already? I have a game to win. 
And I think I can take him for everything. Let's <laughs> every last penny. Hopefully. It's gonna be close. Ooh, there it comes in. Ooh, ooh, that's a queen of hearts. That was a scary one. All right, let's not do that again. So we're gonna deal with like a huge swoop. That was just the jack of diamonds. He didn't get suspicious by that, good. The queen of hearts is his best. Where's it going this time? All the way over here. It's just gone. Oh, that was a garbage card though. At least I'm pretty sure. It could have been an ace, but I think queen of hearts is his best. Now that's tricky. So it encourages me to go faster. Hopefully it wasn't uh, bad. Ooh, this is gonna be tough to see. Up to garbage card. Queen of hearts it is. Hearts is... Well, we'll see. I think it... There we go. Queen of hearts. Queen of hearts. Looking good. Is a little enraged, but not totally so. You are devils. I give up. In exchange for your discretion. Thank you, Captain. Our lips are sealed. We will choose our cabins now. Hey, as long as the bar doesn't reach maximum, it's all the same. A win is a win is a win. And that's how it seems to go. Theodore would be a difficult fish to catch. He is a fake count, but a real bandit. A bandit? A Corsican one, too. Tell me, how do you picture a bandit? Sly and dangerous? Exactly. He will expect to be cheated. We need a simple approach. Dumb, but effective. It is time I show you the crooked card technique. We will simply bend a few cards so I can cut to them. Giving the best cards to me and the worst to our opponent. When it's your turn to play, you need to mark your cards by discreetly bending them against the table. Depending on which direction you'll bend them, you'll mark them either as high value cards or low value cards. Gotcha. Why? You impatient boy, this will help you create a stack that will both benefit me and ruin my opponent. Why don't you have a go marking a high card for me to use later? Now at the market's value, Bend high cards backwards as if they're puffing up their chest with pride. Yeah, but which drag actually drags it backwards? Like that? Okay. Now I need to choose a low card for your unlucky opponents. Bend them forward as if they're cringing with embarrassment at their status. Look at that poor little soul. Good job, lad. I mean, that is so suspicious. We are going to get caught, I assume? That covers the first step. Here's where that business of bending those cards comes into use. You see, bent cards will act as markers during the next stage. They should make it easy to identify the high card when I'm cutting. The tricky part is stealing it. Timing is everything here, lad. Oh. <laughs> well done, lad. You're getting more dexterous by the day. And let's not forget about that low card we prepared. As we're such noble and honor honest players, we'll offer the deck to the opponent to cut. Oh, ye've little faith. Relax. I suppose you think it unlikely. A mere bent card will influence where our opponent cuts. Let me show you a blank cut. Look closely, lad. By making a low card hunch over, it'll create a gap above itself. Watch how my fingers can't help but make the cut here. In conclusion, never underestimate the susceptibility of a naive opponent. But he won't be naive, because he's... Right? Well, whatever. Uh, then add the high card to the top, right on top of the low card. Then simply offset your little stack while shuffling. As usual, make sure the high card ends up with me and the low card is dealt to my opponent. And it's the single card shuffle. Let's go from the top. Let, and you can show me what you've learned as a sequence. So obviously I want the jack. And then you kind of whoop. Man, pick a low one. Whoop. You steal it. Stack it. I've got it. One game without that card is not suspicious. And then the shuffle, I am gonna have to remember, but how hard could it be? So you kinda do one of these, you do an in jog, and then you just kinda... Oh, how do I restart? I meant to tap once. Yeah, 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 I forgot to tap once, but we get the idea. And after another try, the bent card. Oh, look, we're here. Let's root out this Theodore. Who goes there? What's your business, lads? We're here to meet Theodore. The king? Follow me. A count yesterday, a king today. 
Theodore is springing up the social ladder. Why, of course. Why are you here? Did I omit to pay you some money? Are you thieves or cheats? Neither, your majesty. We are friends of uh, Henry the Aramitz. <laughs> uh, Henry's friends are my friends. How is he still decrepit? Incurably so. He told you the secret, didn't he? That's why you're here. Your majesty is perspicacious. Yes, we know about the 12 bottles of milk. But not enough of it, I'm afraid. You want me to tell you what I saw last night, is that it? No chance of that. Daddy, just say the word and I shall strike. It's your majesty. Sure, dad. Uh, should we play your secret at cards instead? A thrilling proposal. That we shall. Let's start out with the cool 10 bet to see where this leaves me. So I'll just I'll pick a pretty good card. And a simple bend is all that's needed. And the bad card isn't even that bad, but it's certainly no king. And there I go. Not even slightly suspicious somehow. Wasn't perfect. So now I gotta make sure I offset it correctly. I guess just wait for the check marks to show up mostly. So, it is here. Oh, they're already in good position, so I'll just shuffle normally. Yeah, I do appreciate the check marks. I think I'd be a little bit lost without those, just trying to figure out who's who from the picture alone. I'm a little slow with that. Huzzah! My lips remain sealed. Another round. Up in the stakes. I can do this twice more easily. Now, I wonder what happens if there's multiple high cards, but I don't give them the highest. I don't want to test it. I don't want to test it either way, but I am curious if I don't give the lowest of low. Like, I could dodge a little suspicion by making sure it's like a medium card. Eh, but what's one high card anyway? What's, what's one bad card? What's one good card? It's just variance. At least that's what we're presenting. All right, so now I do a little bit of a whoop and a whoop and a whoop. We're looking good. Looking pretty good. A little bit more suspicious than last time, but I got room to work with here, unless if they bring out a secret fourth fight. Or hand. <laughs> I'm clearly besting you. Spare yourself some coin and tell me your tale now. I haven't lost yet. Let's play another round. Yes, but soon you will. Oh, what a terrible card I have. It's just such a shame. I haven't been perfect at all. I'm a little bit nervous of missing my cue. It's good to just play it safe here. Although I wonder if perfect would actually lower his suspicion. I bet it would. Keep her shuffling. Keep her shuffling. Looking good. I could probably do this once more, but it'd be really close. You won. I'm out of the game. We're listening. I don't have to tell you anything. You gave your word. <laughs> and then what? I have no honor, didn't you know? What a king you make. King of goats, donkeys, and juniper. I wonder which one enjoys your regal caress at night. Ho! You're insulting me. You will die for these words. Kill them, daddy. Your majesty. Now wait. I'm unarmed. There's a sword behind you, get it. I don't fight with swords. I do, apparently. Why would you die for this wretched man, young fellow? Anyways, your choice on guard. There is really no other option, huh? What if I just stand here? He's not approaching me. No? Okay. Oh boy. Oh. Shit, I'm pretty good at this. I know I can do all these things. Never mind, I'm not that good. Stop! Can't you see the foolish boy has learned his lesson? A real nobleman would lower his sword and let the hot-headed child off with a warning. Ah, the folly of youth. As luck would have it, I'm feeling magn... What the? Feeling great. Generous, possibly. Now leave. Well, how about I take to the baths then? See what we can do out there? 
The baths attract all sorts of riches. It's a wonderful hunting ground. Be very careful though. If the rewards are greater, so are the consequences of being caught. At the rich man's table, the rules are slightly different. They will always want to cut the deck themselves to dissuade cheaters. So what are we going to do? <laughs> Play fairly? Are you joking? No, no, no. We're going to ask our innocent opponent to be kind enough to cheat for us. First, you'll use a technique I call top drag to stack me some aces. Then you use a false riffle shuffle to maintain that stack. And then to drive it home while our opponents seal their ill fate with an innocent cut. How? Ah, if you were sat any closer, I'd softly wrap you on the knuckles. You're getting ahead of yourself. Let's prepare the stack first. To perform top drag, you need to scan through the deck and arrange it in my favor. Think about how the cards will fall when you start dealing. In that case, there are three of us, so I'll get every third card. Looks good to me. Pair of aces should be enough for me to win. Arrange that for me. Scan through the deck, releasing cards one by one with your thumb. When you find an ace, grab it. There we go. Good. At the moment, that ace is being dealt to the first player. You, but we want it dealt to me. Grab two more cards to offset the ace so it's dealt to me. A little... Oh, just grab them. Okay. Now that the ace is properly offset in the cards you're holding, move them to the top of the deck. I don't know how that happened. Uh, as it stands, you've arranged the card for each of us, mine being an ace. And we'll do it again. Uh, it, it thankfully pauses just for you, which I appreciate. Excellent. False riffle shuffle is... Well, it's a false riffle shuffle. Begin by cutting the deck into two piles. As with most false shuffle techniques, you'll be begin in earnest, making sure both halves are interleaved. But look closely. Notice the stack in the top half of the deck? Keep an eye on the stack as you shuffle. You don't want it getting mixed up. We're not here to play honestly. The key to keeping that stack safe, sh stack sh safe is to release cards from the top half of the deck slower than the bottom. That way, by the time you get to the end of the bottom cards, the stack is undisturbed on the top half. Simply drop the stack on top of the pile and that's it. Have a go. Ah, I see. So I'm only co really controlling the one hand. <laughs> My other hand just does what it wants. And push it together, safe and sound. Let's carry on. Very well, we'll take a look at the innocent cut. This simple yet dastardly technique allows us to control exactly where the cut gets made. It's not dissimilar to the cut that follows an ineffective shuffle, except this time the opponent makes the cut. I'll be sat back enjoying, enjoying my wine. Let's give it a try. Start by dropping a chunk of cards. Now in jog a card on top of the stack. It'll act as a marker for where you want the cut to happen. And now shuffle the rest of the deck on top. Be sure to bend the in jog card as you collect the deck together when you're done. It will create a small gap in the deck. Ah, nice. And offer it to whoever. And they'll cut where the bent card is. What a fool! Hmm, has anyone ever like intentionally cut at weird parts of the deck? Not necessarily to prevent uh, cheating or anything like that, but just because maybe it's funny and maybe to mix things up. Now we're sort of stack by bringing the deck back together. Perfect. Well done. I must say I'm looking forward to the BAMs as much as the coin. It's been too long for me and evidently a lifetime for you. This isn't a laughing matter. A cocktail of poverty and fear. I mean, you look like a bitch if you take offense to that joke. Sir, could we join you at this table? Yes, certainly. Please do. I don't think we've been introduced. Charles Legan. Uh, idle noble on the road, and my son Eugene. <laughs> Excuse him, he's not very talkative. Eugene, you son of a bitch. Let's play. No, mind if I do. Let's see if I can nail this. This is probably the toughest one yet. Definitely gonna keep it cool with 20, although how big is 30? No, let's keep it cool at 20. This one's tough. No doubt. So, riffle through the deck. Oh, I should just pick a random card and then an ace. Where's my ace at? There it is. Just two garbage cards and then the next ace. Wherever you may be. There it is. And I messed up already. I forgot to add the extra card. That is awkward. Think I can save this? I don't know if it's savable. 
I would have to go like... I'd have to drop this and then try this? Oh, this is terrible. Yeah, I was trying to improvise a little bit. It didn't work. I certainly wouldn't have given him two aces. I was moderately suspicious already, and I failed. So, uh, bad start to it all. Like I said, this is tough. Uh, you didn't do well. I will give you another chance. God. Uh, thankfully, that was the warm-up. You know, $20 is $20. All right, so, can't give him the ace yet. I have to give start with the junk card, and then an ace. I think. Well, maybe I could have given him the ace first. I'm actually not sure. But now it's like two garbage cards. Look for the ace. Actually, maybe I could have started with the ace. I don't know. Oh, come on. Find me an ace, please. There we go. And then a junk card. Finalize. That was better. And now this is something that I struggle with for sure. Yeah. Yeah, that one's tough for me. You need like a finesse, which I don't have. This I can at least do quickly. Oh boy. Still gonna be tight. It's gonna be very tight, actually. I mean, he's rich. Surely he wouldn't kill anybody just because they cheat. I'm sure we would just get kicked out. One, one, lost one. Just normal game of cards. Oh, what is this? I've found you miscreants. Seize them. No, you will do no such thing. Really? And who are? Ah, my apologies. I'm very sorry to have interrupted your game. Yes, I'm the king's prosecutor at the Toulouse Parma Parliament. Colonel, seize your infernally silly faces and join us. But these people are cheats and murderers. You can always arrest them later. We have a game to finish. Never mind. The stakes are higher now. That's great. So I bet. So now there's four people I have to think about. Is that what's going on? I, uh, don't know what the plan is, so I think I start with two garbage cards, and then an ace, and then one, two, three fillers, and then find the next ace, and then one filler. How Can I please ruffle through the deck? Find the ace. There it is, and then a garbage card, and then we're good. Okay, looking pretty decent right now. This is where it gets tricky, though. Cannot mess this up. Ah! That's scary. He is very upset. Go, go, go. Oh, son of a bitch. Oh my god, I can't do the fucking riffle shuffle to save my life. Look, sir, they cheated. I saw them. It's indeed troubling. Arrest them. What the? Okay, I see what must be done. Just. Oh, come on. Please, move it to the left. How do I move it to the left again? I don't remember how to move it to the left. I don't remember how to move it to the left. How do I move it to the left? This is bullshit. That's how. Oh my god. Thank you. <laughs> I couldn't remember how to do it. Do you have an arrest warrant? Of course. We are innocent. Accuse him. What? Are you saying Colonel Gabriel is the cheat? Uh, that is exactly what we were saying. How dare you? What is that ace doing on your chair, Colonel? Uh, no, I... Enough. This is most problematic. I cannot in good conscience let you take these men. You're free to leave now. I will find you again. Well, that was close. Not the best outcome, but not the worst outcome either. Damn, but that... That's a tough trick. I'll have to run that one back at some point. Well, I narrowly escaped with my life, which is really a good ending. As as good of an ending as I'm going to get right now. <laughs> I will see you guys all in the next episode. Hope I can escape danger for longer. People are on to me, which is really not good. Let's see how well we can keep the suspicion off. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. See you all in the next one. Have a wonderful day and peace.